back out to Tales of Terror, but today the food trucks are here, so I'm going to start with that. Now, to be fair, they were here for the soft opening, but they kind of left early, so I didn't really get it in the video. So here is the menu. Son of a food truck, tonight we've got East Side Barbecue. Where are they located? East Side, of course. It's getting saucy over here. All right, so here's what we have. We got the mac and cheese, yellow rice, and the pulled pork for a pretty good price, I'd say. Here is a booth that was not here on soft opening. It is. So what do you guys do here? We sell, we make and sell all natural uh, handcrafted beard grooming products. Uh, currently we have beard oil and beard balm. There's two blends. We have some examples here. This one here is called Dark and Brooding Beard Oil. It's more of a dark, rich, bold scent. It's got coffee oil, patchouli oil, bergamot, and a, and a little hint of orange essential oil. Yes. It also comes in a balm as well. The balm is like a leave-in conditioner. It'll help style your beard as well. Here's a little... Cool. And the oil helps with the irritation in your skin when you start growing that beard. Oh, yeah. <coughs> it's, uh, it's rather pure and clear, as you can see. Nice. And the other blend that we have is called Fresh and Dapper. More of a fresh, refreshing scent. Um, it has mainly citrus oils in it, orange, lemon, bergamot, and a hint of ylang ylang oil. This one's uh, got a more rich, vibrant scent. It's like clear as well, pure, nice. all natural. And also comes in a balm as well. It's got shea butter, cocoa butter, and a little bit of a beeswax in it. Nice. No one really knows what, what beard arm is. There's a little introduction we have here as well. Okay. And also beard oil. So, um, yeah, it's basically we put it in your hands and put it directly on the skin under your beard and and basically uh, pull that on your beard. It'll, it'll help uh, give you all these benefits. Floating candles. Is that Halloween or Harry Potter? Who knows? That's a home decorations, actually. Nice. <laughs> they cool. stay up all year. <laughs> So, of course, I have gone through several times, but this is John's first time. So what do you think about the haunt? I thought I thought the haunt itself was really well done inside. As you can't see, because I'm a scaredy cat, Dave has a necklace on so they can touch him the whole time. There's, there's certain scenes in which they will touch you and interact with you in that way. And so Dave enjoyed that. I just got to watch and laugh at him um, away from there. But considering the length of it and all the things to do, and I was... Really impressed, even though it's not a complicated effect. I was really, really impressed with the finale at the end. And I won't ruin it for you, because I'm sure they're going to use that effect again. Of how they pop in and out. And it's kind of those things that you would want the Hollow Screams and the Halloween Horror Nights to be. But they can't really do based on who they are. I think overall, this was a really, really effective one. What is it, $15 for one walkthrough? I think it was about that, yeah. Okay. Really 15. I, I paid more like 20 because I got the Oh, that's right. You, you pay more to necklace. be touched. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some inappropriate comment I can make. And it's just going to get better because, it's like I said, this yes. was a whole lot and it's going to get better every year. So I promised you an actual good hunt. And it, uh, it was good. You actually delivered. You did not over promise and under deliver. So I know it's a really short video tonight, but I just wanted to come out and support the hunt. Went through again tonight two times and had two unique experiences. The link, of course, is in the description. But thanks for watching this video all the way through and please exit through the gift shop. Don't forget to buy my shirt. <laughs>